What's up guys, I'm Sean. So the E46 M3 and the E90X M3s with the V8 are known to have rod bearing issues. So instead of spending thousands of dollars to address it, you should do a simple and cheap oil analysis first before you spend the time and money. So here's my E46 M3 track car. I've done a lot of things to it. Suspension, brakes, interior, Vanos bulletproofing, etc, etc. But the one thing I haven't done yet is rod bearings. So I'm going to do an oil analysis first. Hopefully I get the report back with a clean engine. This is the oil analysis kit I got from Blackstone Laboratories. The kit is free. You can go on their website and then they'll send you a few of these. So let's open it up. Comes with a tube to catch the oil. And some paperwork you want to fill out. Your name, your car, how many miles are on the engine oil before you removed it, what kind of oil, etc. And it comes with the baggie and some foam so the oil doesn't spill. I'm not going to show you how to do an oil change on this car because by now there's plenty of DIYs online. It's pretty straightforward. But I am going to show you how to properly collect the oil and fill out the form and mail it out to do the oil analysis. Get your car safely on jack stands with a backup jack. Make sure that the engine and oil is warm before we drain it. Pop off the drain cover. I'm going to use my Torx T40 bit to remove the drain bolt. Make sure that the engine oil is not piping hot. It's just warm. And then we're going to catch the middle of the drain. You don't want to catch the beginning of the drain because you can catch like debris and other crap in here. So we want to catch the middle of the drain. Here you go. All right. I think we got a good amount right here. We're going to leave the cap off. Let the oil cool down before we close it. I'm going to finish my oil change. This is the kit I bought from ECS Tuning. I'm running OEM Castro 10W60 synthetic fluid on my E46 M3. So the oil change is done. This thing cooled off. Make sure that the cap is tight. And then I filled out this form. It asks how many miles on the engine, how many miles on the oil, what type of oil, any other notes. I put six track events. Some other information back here, and I put my email address where they're going to email me the test results. So I've done an oil analysis before, and I did five track events and 2100 miles, and the oil still looked good. So this time it's six track events and 2700 miles. I think the oil will still be good, but it's good to double check, make sure there's no rod bearing issues. One thing's for sure, it's a myth that you have to do an oil change before and every track event. You can actually go maybe four or five track events before you do an oil change, but the best thing to do is to do an oil analysis to know for sure. Now I'm going to head to the post office and drop this off. I got my oil analysis email back to me from Blackstone Laboratories. So on this sample, I went 2,700 miles and six track events, and the oil analysis came back clean. So the oil analysis checks the different metals found in the oil sample. And I've done an oil analysis at 1,300 miles, 2,100 miles, and this time at 2,700 miles. So at 2,700 miles and six track events, the oil analysis is still good. So what's important to me is this comment section. I asked them, is there any signs of rod bearing issues? And they said that bearing wear shows up mainly as lead for these engine, and it's fine at 7 ppm, so all is well in that part of the engine. So nice report overall, which is great. So my car has 155,000 miles and the oil analysis came back clean. So maybe the previous owner did the rod bearings, I'm not sure. So instead of spending 1,500 to two grand to replace your rod bearings, you should do a $28 oil analysis first. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to watch more. Thanks for watching.